Hello my friends. Welcome all guests of the fair. Today we'll talk about potential scenarios that could happen involving Edwin Van Cleef and the classic and basic sets. We will explain why the most popular assumptions about the fate of the classic set may provoke a new scandal, as well as share our own thoughts and theories on this topic. Also, we invite you to take part in a new experiment at the end of the video. Let's start with the six facts that we know from the developers. There are big changes coming to Hearthstone in 2021. Edwin's time in Standard will come to a close. The Hall of Fame will no longer exist in its current form, so there is no benefit to crafting or hoarding Edwin. Players will find it easier to get into the game, even with a limited collection. A more modern take on basic and classic cards awaits us. Players should be hyped for these changes. All of this sounds very strange. Edwin will definitely become unavailable in Standard Mode, but it will not be inducted into the Hall of Fame as the Hall of Fame will no longer exist which means we will not receive any dust as compensation for the Edwin rotation. Thus, most likely, the classic set will be fully rotated to wild mode. This would explain everything. While the disappearance of classic cards will not hurt standard mode, the classic set rotation is a very bad idea and may provoke a scandal. Players will demand compensation and again accuse the developers of lying. Since Blizzard assured us that the classic set is the stable foundation of the standard mode. In addition, some players managed to collect an extensive collection of golden cards from the classic set. The loss of the gold collection will be a great loss for them. Players who return to Hearthstone after a long hiatus will be extremely disappointed to find that their classic collection is no longer available in standard mode. And one more thing, there is no point in rotating cards that are useless and have no impact on the metagame. I am completely confused. So what do you think should happen with the classic set and the Hall of Fame? Here's our theory. The classic set will not leave standard mode. It will most likely become absolutely free like the basic cards. And perhaps these two sets will even be combined into one set, such as a new classic set or a beginner's set. Moreover, it is possible that all classic and basic cards from the Hall of Fame will return to standard mode, but cards will still be able to be banned in some form. Thus, the Hall of Fame will be completely disbanded. In my opinion, most of the cards from the Hall of Fame are no longer able to harm the metagame. For example, how can Elite Torin Chieftain, Gelbin Mechatork, Ragnaros the Firelord, or even Sylvanas Windrunner hurt the game? All of these legendary cards pose no threat to wild mode, and they may no longer be dangerous to the standard meta. The card ban system will allow developers to immediately withdraw any classic or basic card from the game if it gets out of control, or vice versa, return the card to play. In other words, according to your theory, we will not receive compensation for Edwin Van Cleef, because firstly it will become free, and secondly, it will not leave standard mode but will be banned indefinitely. Do I understand you correctly? That's right Dora, moreover, this system can extend not only to the classic set, but also to new sets. For example, Cards from new sets that do not meet Blizzard's expectations could be banned but not sent to the Hall of Fame, but players will still receive compensation in the form of dust. And a few more crazy ideas. Absolutely useless cards can get a buff. I know that the developers don't like card buffs as they think they have little impact on the metagame. But the massive buff of free useless cards would make new player decks more competitive. Wow, what a good attempt at predicting the future. Guys, your efforts and imagination definitely deserve a click on the like button. However, I'm a little sorry that it's all just your sick fantasies, since of course all these ideas will never be implemented in the game. I really want to see the expression on your face when Classic Set goes completely or partially into wild mode. Many reputable players consider the Classic Rotation to be the most realistic scenario, Dora, I understand that our theory looks too good to be true, but I thought for a long time about how the developers can modernize the classic set, and at the same time not make the players angry, since any global changes are always a huge stress for the players. Do you remember how wary some players were about the first rotation and division of the modes into standard and wild? Your theory might be true if it weren't for one huge flaw. What prevents me, after the official release of the news that the classic set will become completely free, disenchant absolutely all my classic cards and thus get a whole mountain of arcane dust, since later I will get the entire collection back completely free. For example, the set contains 32 legendary cards, almost all of which are completely useless. However, many players are collectors, and they prefer to save these cards for their collection. 
I am not a mathematician, I am just a reporter, but according to my calculations, if a player with a full collection takes advantage of this opportunity, he will receive almost 13,000 dust just by disenchanting legendary cards. The entire collection as a whole should bring him more than 24,000 dust. Blizzard will never allow this to happen. For this reason, the rotation of the classic set without any compensation looks much more realistic, and your theory, unfortunately, is absolutely not viable. Yes Dora, you are absolutely right. You managed to find the main floor in our idea. Such a large amount of dust can completely destroy the economy of the game and significantly reduce the income of Blizzard. Perhaps the developers will introduce some kind of restrictions or, on the contrary, offer you something in return that will make you stop getting rid of the cards. What are you talking about? I don't know, this is a completely crazy idea, but maybe the legendary cards that you decide to keep can get a unique new look or special visual effect, thus they will be different from the free versions. In my opinion it will be quite valuable for collectors. This is another very beautiful but absolutely unrealizable assumption. Even if the devs decide to just send the classic set to wild, I won't be disappointed. I'm sure the set needs drastic changes. The classic set has long lost its relevance. This is the worst set you can buy in the store. Despite the fact that the set contains a large number of important cards, the overwhelming majority of cards are completely useless, especially the legendary cards, and this is ridiculous. We have repeatedly urged players not to spend a single gold coin on classic packs. Over the past few years Hearthstone has changed significantly, and this can no longer be ignored. Even if you have a full classic set, you will hardly utilize it at all when creating meta decks. In any case, I'm sure Blizzard will be able to surprise us, and the upcoming changes that may affect the classic and basic sets will have an overall positive effect on the game. Now let's move on to our little experiment. We expect that whatever decision the developers make, some players will remain extremely disappointed, despite the importance and possible positive effects of these changes. We want to try to determine the level of community satisfaction from potential changes. To do this, we created two polls on our community tab. So, dear friends, what if the classic set partially or completely rotates into wild mode or becomes completely free for all players without any compensation? Which scenario do you think is the most realistic? Share your thoughts in the comments, and please take part in the vote. We will be extremely grateful to you for liking and subscribing to the channel as well as for turning on all notifications using the bell icon. You can also join our squad of loyal patrons and help us create new videos. Dear friends, from all of my robotic heart, thank you so much for any kind of support. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for being with us. And special thanks to Chris for his invaluable help. We will definitely meet in a new video. Good luck.